You know, what's really cool, and, and it's been really quite remarkable, I would say, is that what I've noticed when I've been speaking publicly, say, over the last year and a half, because there's a hole in our culture where there should be a discussion about maturity, truth, and responsibility. No one's talking yes. about that. Okay, so now I'll come up and I'll start talking about that. I'll say, look, like, wh what should you do with your life? Um, well, take care of yourself, but take care of yourself in a way that also means that simultaneously you're taking care of your family, and that and also means that simultaneously you're taking care of the broader community. So that's kind of your goal. So orient yourself towards that. Personal success, but in a way that your success breeds success. Because if you're going to establish a name, why not establish like a really good aim? That's a good one. It's good for you. It's good for everyone else. Yes. Okay. That'll give your life some meaning. Now adopt, make a plan, generate a vision. That's what the future authoring program helps people with. Make a, develop a vision of what your life could be like if, if it was worth living, despite all its suffering. It's like, what would you need so that you would be happy to be alive? You'd find your life meaningful, so you don't get all bitter and resentful and cruel and hostile and ideologically addled and, like, murderous and genocidal. It's like none of that. You think real hard. How would you have to configure your life so that despite its suffering and the malevolence that's part of it, that you would regard it as worthwhile? So that's up to you to develop a vision. Then put a plan into practice. And so when I talk to people about this, and most of my audiences are young men. It's probably about 65, 35. More and more women are showing up, but that's about what it is right now. The halls are dead silent. You could hear a pin drop. Because nobody's said so clearly for like 50 years that almost all the meaning that you will need to get you through the hard times of your life is going to be a consequence of adopting responsibility. Not of rights and impulsive action, impulsive freedom. Like, fine, rights, yeah, got it. Freedom, no problem. Even freedom to do impulsive things, fine. Fine. But that isn't where you're going to find the meaning that keeps you sustained through the storms of life. That's going to be, you take care of yourself, you take care of your intimate partner, you take care of your damn family, you don't run off, you take care of your community, you rescue the wisdom from the past, you stand up straight and you be courageous despite the fact that life is tragic and tainted by malevolence. It's like that's the that's ancient wisdom, that's what that is.